Well, welcome to this edition of today's Muslim Challenge. Saw this this morning. I'd like just to uh, bring it up for you, and let's see if uh, how we can answer the question. They, you know, uh, Muslims love answering questions. They're not very good at answering them. In fact, uh, uh, part of today's Muslim Challenge is uh, is basically Muslims are terrible at answering questions. Uh, they avoid, they skip, they jump around and try to change the subject. They do not answer the question directly. So let's just bring this up and see what we have here. Okay, can a woman give birth uh, to God? Is that possible? Can How can anyone give birth to God? And of course, they uh, we see uh, the birth narratives and um, both Matthew and in Luke, Matthew one eighteen and Luke one twenty seven. But maybe we should be asking the question this way: Can a woman give birth to God, or better yet, is God able to enter into His own creation? I think that is the better way of answering the question, because the implications are uh, problematic for Muslims if God is unable to enter into his own creation because, first of all, it contradicts the uh, narrative found in both the, uh, the Torah, the book of Exodus to be specific, and, um, uh, and the Quran, where uh, Allah speaks to Moses through a burning bush and says, I am Allah. So uh, right there we have uh, Allah entering into his own creation in the uh, in the form of a of a burning bush. Now, if God is able to enter into uh, or Allah is able to enter into uh, a burning bush and speak from a burning bush to Moses, why would it be so difficult for him to enter uh, into the womb of a woman and? Uh, and get how, how is that uh, how 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 would that be more difficult for for Allah? One of the problems our Muslim friends have is basically uh, their Unitarian position because when they ask such a question, uh, they are uh, beginning with a, a false premise, and if you begin with a false premise, you will uh, you know you will have a false conclusion with it. And so uh, it is God, the, uh, you know, a Unitarian God would be unable, and I would agree, a Unitarian God, if God is a, a single monad out there, totally remote and totally removed from his creation, then uh, I would agree uh, with it. If God, a God is a singularity, uh, he would he would be unable to, uh, uh, in fact, I think he'd be unable to create or do anything. He'd just be a cosmic force in the universe, terribly uh, impersonal with, uh, with anything in his creation. And I do not believe a, a God like that it would be uh, able to exist. He would be unable to reveal himself because the moment he reveals himself, he's interacting with his creation. He's... Uh, uh, he, God speaks basically through his creation, but he also speaks through uh, divine revelation. And uh, for God to enter into his own creation, he would have to speak to angels, he has to speak to man. And therefore, my Muslim friends, why is it impossible for God to enter into his own creation? Or shall I say, uh, you know, or as you said, why would it be impossible for uh, a woman to give birth to God? It would only be possible with a God like Allah, who is again a single monad, a cosmic force. However, if God is triune and uh, he is a God of love, who loves his creation, he is certainly able through the person of Jesus Christ to enter in to his own creation. In fact, uh, when we read, especially the prologue of John, and that was suggested to my Muslim friends, 
Try to set all your biases aside, and I realize we all have them. All your presuppositions aside, and read the prologue of John. Go get a copy of the Gospel of John. And uh, if you don't have one, I'll tell you what I'll do. I will, I will send you a copy of the Gospel of John. I'll mail it to you. Just let me know your address. I'll put it. I'll put it a little copy of the Gospel of John. In fact, I'll tell you what. Here I go. Let's see. Get it over here. It's a little Gospel of John here, and um, you will be able to read uh, the entire Gospel, but just read the prologue and see what it says about the Lord Jesus. If you want to know what God is like, God has revealed Himself through the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day, and may God bless. And uh, we'll just end the video right here. Be blessed and have a great day.